Hey guys, thank you for tuning in. This is just kind of a vlog of July slash August of 2023. So I basically reorganized my page and I've been on my Mark Zuckerberg a whole bunch of stuff, you know, making things cleaner, going out my way, collaborating with people. I'm about to basically do a, I did like a whole bunch of spreading or engagement in Naples, Florida. I'm going to do the same thing online. So when people say you need to make a new song, I don't have to. If you have a really good song or a single, you could keep promoting just the link of that song on the internet. That's why you have the internet. So you're going to see me over the next two weeks do kind of a very formal link spread to my content. It's basically a copy paste reality and it'll be through Twitter. And if I can get back on Facebook without bothering people, I'm gonna go on Facebook. On Twitter, I'm gonna be engaging with people and I'm using my brain to spread. On YouTube, I'm going to be engaging with a whole bunch of new producers and I'm going to be engaging with anyone new uh, from the NCA community. So, what does this uh, mean? This means you're going to see me kind of get back into the conversation of like, this guy's like just spreading. It's kind of like if I email blasted people, he's engaging with people online. It could be through TikTok, it could be through anything, but it takes about, a, uh, about an hour to spread once you've kind of made noise on someone's page. It could be the fact that I just liked their post on social media. It takes about an hour for it to kind of spread. This is a real person that's spreading your content. This is Isaiah Curtis Pilkington, or this is his fan base basically standing up for him in that vicinity. I'm gonna just do kind of a shout out. Shout out to Sacramento, shout out to San Diego, shout out to every boss in the United States of America, shout out to New York, specifically Manhattan, shout out to Detroit, Michigan, shout out to Big Beaver, woo! Shout out to Ann Arbor, shout out to Canton, Michigan, and Clarkson, Michigan. Shout out to Troy, shout out to UF, shout out to University of Miami, shout out to Tampa, uh, shout out to Florida Tech, shout out to Florida State, shout out to Bethune, Cookman, shout out to Weber, shout out to Nebraska, shout out to Georgia, shout out to Georgia Tech, shout out to Wittenberg University, shout out to Carnegie Mellon. Shout out to Swarthmore. Shout out to Johns, the Johns Hopkins University. Shout out to NYU. Shout out to Loyola. There's more than one. Shout out to UT or Texas, University of Texas, Texas. Shout out to Auburn. Shout out to Texas A&M. Shout out to North Dakota State. But I'm just keeping it like, I can say Texas Christian and Baylor too, but I just, just want to, you know, I'm a freshman on paper right now according to 2023 standards or 2023. So they're going to say, no, he's not at our school at the current moment, but don't have to be. My reasonings to being away from the school are justified. You can finish on your own time just like every other actor or musician or any football player that went into the NFL. You can just go back to your school and finish. Concerning this music, um, spread i have a whole bunch of content that people may have heard but they weren't paying attention this is more of an experience so like you're going to be hearing this music kind of like a movie was introduced to opus or imax it's just going to continue to get better when things can play things at high resolution so you're going to get a better experience and i would definitely anticipate getting the ipad 14. the ipad 14 is going to have a better visual experience online and also it's going to have better audio uh, or at least be able to um it's, it's just gonna, I think it's just gonna be better. Uh, meaning uh, your first impression is going to, like just using it with the stylus and everything and interacting, I think it's gonna be really good. So anticipate there being better technology. And um, the reason why I did music is location. So it's like, you know, you have like smart TV. I encourage people to, play, I'll have this be the title of this. I encourage people to, to please listen to music, everyone's music on the television. Cause a lot of people are like mastering. Well, the reason why I was having issues is because People didn't want to go off verification, they'd rather go off the words people. The reason why I was really like confused is because you have the master by iTunes verification. All the stores also were basically notifying people saying, we're verified companies, we make a lot of money, we're Apple, we're like Tidal, we're like multi, whatever. And, uh, or, you know, Apple's a trillion, like plus trillion, you know, so a trillion plus. And their reality is very simple. It's like we're giving people the verification that they're becoming the average of our interface. So they're becoming the average of our software, the average of our geniuses and our, our professionals inside of our company. So have faith 
in the software, have faith in the devices, have faith in YouTube, have faith in, there should be another one, but like have faith in the fact that when you are on Apple Music and all this stuff, that they're normalizing everything. They're listening to the complaints of people and they're fixing it inside of that store. The verification of something being an original is that it is in the store or it's inside of, or on SoundCloud or it is on YouTube slash DistroKid. The reason why I'm saying it very similar, saying it like that is because a lot of people want to like discredit people and say that this wasn't them. Copyright suggests that if something was copyright protected and you did steal something, they would take it down off the store. So if something is on my page, it is 100% original and I'm allowed to put it out there. That's something that hopefully people can see with themselves, like I'm, or see themselves. I, you're looking right at it. Confusions with the store, I'm letting them fix that because that's kind of like a, a management issue. So uh, I just made my music accessible, which means you can listen to it on YouTube Music and YouTube. I apologize if the stores are going slow or the stores are confusing people or for some odd reason people gave people the wrong information. This is not a controlled environment, but this is kind of like an area where the resolution of something, it's like the same, it's the same file. So if, if something is changing, it's, it could be the, the Wi-Fi. It could be the Bluetooth connection of your device, but for the most part, the hardware, like if you're playing music on a Sony TV and they say, this is too loud, you could point across your body and just say, well, it's really low on my TV. And you could turn it up and they said, this is too low, right? Too loud and too low. So you just keep showing them what you sound. It's the same file. So that's kind of like why I'm like just letting people know. I know I'm kind of like, can, you know, slurring my words in this or can, you know, but this is uh, it's the same file being pushed out there and it doesn't need or require a master because it normalizes audio. Normalizing audio means that it's just the amplifier that makes it louder. It's not the song. It's, the song's the same song. The hardware, like there are certain devices that put an EQ on it. So just trust the advancement of, of technology and it'll get better every single piece of work. Thank you.